Okay, exercise one. This is time for some action. We are talking about preposition again. Okay, put your hands in back of your foot. Good job. Yes, you are right. Where are your hands? In back of my foot. Say the whole thing. My hand is. Ah, because okay, you have two hands, right? My hands are. In, in behind. We just talk about in back. In back of my shoe. My foot. Okay, say it again. You don't have to do that, but you say the whole sentence. My hands are in back of my foot. Go ahead. My hand is ah. in back of my foot. Correct. Good job. Put your hand in front of your face. Your hands. Nice job. Where are your hands? Say the whole thing about where your hands are. My hands is are, are front in front is in front of my face. Okay. So we have in front of, in back of. Can you say it? In front of, in back of. Now I say one. You will say the opposite. Ready for this game? If you get five right, five of them correct. I will give you two stickers for how many? For five. Okay, pay attention. Uh, my hand, okay? I do my hand. Or oh, you want me to use the pencil? Which one you think? What? You want me to use the pencil? What? For placing the objects around so you can tell me where it is. So I just go with the marker. Ready? Where is the marker now? Over. Good. Where is the marker now? In front of. Nice job. Where is the marker now? In back of. Where is the marker now? Under. Good. Um, where is the marker now? In. Good. Where is the marker now? On. Okay. Uh. Um, get, all right, yeah, I think you get all the preposition correctly. Good job. So you get two stars for that two sticker. Okay. Exercise two, you are going to talk about a pencil. Again, we review about the pencil. What is this part made of? This part, what is this made of? Um, rubber. Rubber, good job. What is the name of, yes? Um, you know, we're going to play kids, but um, um, they can just come for my dad. Okay. Like uh, now this time? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you might uh, you just uh, you just move them to the the, the okay. rectangle table okay. so they can. Uh, what time are they almost done? Are you guys almost done? Oh. Okay. Um, okay. Um, okay. okay. Just yeah, just go. Uh, uh, sorry, you guys. You guys will get a um, a sticker for being flexible. So just move to the rectangle table because Miss Maki have the group coming up. Yeah. Okay, thank you for being flexible. Okay. Okay, so, sorry, we're back now. We are going to talk about an eraser and a chair. Eraser chair. and chair. What is this? Eraser. What is this? My turn, I'll tell you if I hold the eraser under the chair. Is the eraser under the chair? Yes. Yes. Is the eraser under the chair? No. Correct. Is the eraser under the chair? No. Correct. 
Your turn to tell me if the eraser is under the chair. Is the eraser under the chair? Yes. Correct. Is the is the eraser under the chair? No. Correct. Is the eraser under the chair? No. Correct. Is the eraser under the chair? Yes. Okay, stick up for you. Good job. Got it ready. So now we are working on the material. We are going to talk about a shirt. What is it? A shirt. Mr. Lee is wearing a shirt to school today. Okay. Look, this is the front of the shirt, right? What part is, what was am I wearing? Uh, shirt. What what am I wearing? Shirt. Look at the front part of the shirt. What are these called? Button. Buttons. Good. What is the button made up? What do you think the button made up? Glue. Plastic. Plastic. A rubber or plastic. Yeah, some rubber plastic. Good job. Let's do it again. What is this car? Button. Button. What is this car? Sleeve. Wait, this one, the whole thing. Shirt. Shirt. Okay. The buttons are in front of the shirt, correct? Or uh, the button in the back, in back of the shirt. Some, some dress, some, sh some dress they have button in the back, but this shirt, the buttons are in the front. What? A the part made of plastic. Plastic, correct. Good job. Okay, so you have one sticker for that part, and then we move on to the next one. Okay. Hey, Lola. Yeah. Lola, you go back to your class because you're done with me. Oh, stay with Mr. Tango. Go there. Good. Ready? Let's look at the picture. What is this? Butterfly. Correct, butterfly. What is this? Flower. Correct, flower. One of these butterflies is under the flower. Is one of these under the flower? Is this butterfly under the flower? Correct. Ready? I wait till you're ready. Okay. Is this butterfly under the wa the flower? No. Correct. Is this butterfly under the flower? Yeah. Say the whole thing. This butterfly is under the flower. Good job. One of these butterfly is over the flower. Is this butterfly over the flower? No. Is this butterfly over the flower? No. Is this butterfly yeah. over the flower? Yeah, say the whole thing. This butterfly is over the flower. One sticker for you. Yes. When you're done with the test, you will go back to class and you come at 11.45 to see me. Okay, when you're done, you go back to your class and make sure you come at 11.45 with your writing. Ava and close, okay? Okay, next. Look at this picture. They show what a boy did. A boy did. That something happened already. A boy did. Yeah? What is the boy doing now? Holding the log. Holding the log yeah. or carrying. Can you say carrying? Yeah. Carrying the log. Yeah. Yes, the boy is carrying the log. Say the whole thing. The boy is carrying the log. Good job. Look at picture B. Now look at what the boy is doing. What is he doing? Sitting. 
sitting on the log. log. Say the whole thing. The boy is sitting on the log. Yes, the boy is sitting on the log. Good job. Are you ready for the next one? Okay. Listen. What was the boy doing before he sat on the log? He is holding the log. Carrying the log. Say it again. Carrying the log. the log. Say the whole thing about the, what the boy was doing. The boy was carrying the log. Good job. The boy was... Ava, you done, you can go. The boy was carrying the log. Yeah. I am, you look so tired. I mean. Okay. Look at this picture. What did you see in the picture? Frogs. Frogs. What are these? Leaf. Frog. Frog. Say the whole thing. They are frogs. Are these fish? No. No. Say the whole thing. They these are not fish. fish. Listen. What are these frogs doing? Sitting. Correct. Sitting. Say the whole thing about what these do these frogs are doing. These, these frogs are fish. Sitting. Good job. Again. The, these these, these frogs are sitting. Correct. Good job. Are these frogs sitting in a car? <laughs> no. Okay. Say the whole thing. These, these frogs, frogs are not sitting on the car. Car sitting in a car. You sit in a car. You cannot sit on the car. You fly away, right? So inside a car. So we're talking about in and on already. So good job. They are not sitting in the car. So where I am now, exercise seven, now exercise eight. It's such a sweet this one. We we are going to figure out a problem on this picture. What is this? What uh, what is this? A boat. And uh, a boat. What is this? Car. And what is this? You Sailing boat. This is boat. You see, kind of canoe, right? What are these called? What class are they belong to? Are they belonging to food, or they belong to vehicle? Vehicle. Vehicles. Look at this mud. Only one of these vehicle will get stuck in the mud. Here's the rule. The vehicle with wheels will get stuck in the mud. Say the rule. The vehicle, vehicle with wheels will, will get, stuck get stuck in, in the mud. mud. Okay. Yes, the vehicle with wheels will get stuck in the mud. We'll talk about the vehicle. Does this vehicle have wheels? Yes. Does this vehicle have wheels? That this vehicle has wheel? Never. Have wheel. Okay. Okay, so what do you know about this vehicle if they have wheel? Yeah. What do you know about it? It has wheel. But if it has wheel, what happened to it in the mud? It will get, get stuck. stuck in the mud. Will this vehicle get stuck in the mud? No. Will this vehicle get stuck in the mud? No. No, because they don't have Wheels. Good. You think our car will get stuck in the mud? <laughs> okay. You think the airplane will get stuck in the mud? Maybe. Maybe when it's landing, right? Yeah. Okay. It has wheel. Yeah. The air airplane has the wheel. Look at the picture. Does this vehicle has wheel? Yeah. Is this vehicle stuck in the mud? Yeah. What kind of vehicle is this? Car. What is the man doing? Pushing. Pushing what? The car. Say the whole thing about what the man is doing. The, the man, man is pushing, pushing the, the car. car. 
Does this vehicle has wheel? No. Is this sailboat stuck in the mud? No. Is, is the girl waving? Yes. Say the whole thing about what the girl is doing. The girl is waving. Does this vehicle has wheel? No. Is this canoe stuck in the mud? No. What is the woman doing? Paddling. Paddling the canoe. Say the whole thing about what the woman is doing. The woman is paddling the, the canoe. canoe. Yes. Okay, what would you do if you were stuck in the mud? You walk in the mud and you got stuck, what would you do? Think of the situation, what would you do? For Mr. Lee, if I got stuck in the mud, if I was young, a little, now I think I can handle it by myself. But I was too little and I got stuck in the mud, I would call for help. And maybe I went with my brother, my sister, or my mom, my dad, said, Daddy, help, I got stuck in the mud. Yeah. But now, Mr. Lee can walk away the mud easily, correct? Yeah. Okay. Where would you like to paddle, where would you like to paddle the canoe? Where? In the ocean. In the ocean, in the river, in the lake. Pool. Uh, okay, the, the, the pool is the, the, not too small. Okay. Where would you like to sail the sailboat? Outside. Where? Near the lake. 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 Yeah. Shore. Okay. A river. A river. Okay, you can go back to your class and tomorrow we continue about the classification, okay? Have a good day and have a good weekend. Brooke.